Hey fellow gliders, it's me, and today we're going to take a look at how to create random point awards for either a daily check-in or a challenge completion. We're going to use a couple of brand new glide plugin columns to make this happen. Now I already have a leaderboard set up. This is from my previous video. You can learn more about that here. In the meantime, we're going to go ahead and create that random button experience. Now, for our purposes, we're gonna do just a daily check-in. So there'll be a button down over here that they'll be able to get some random points for today, and then it won't be able to push that button again until the following day. All right, so the first thing we'll have to do is come over here to the data editor, hit the plus button, and we're gonna create a new column called random points. The column type is going to be a plugin column, one of these ones at the bottom here. Go to number and then roll dice. And this is gonna be a random number generator. Side, the default is six, and here's where we're going to choose the maximum number that they can be awarded. So if you want to choose, uh, you know, they get a points between one and ten, let's say, then we would just do ten. Uh, if we want to do uh, some value, like some value of five, maybe a maximum of 20 points, so five, ten, fifteen, or twenty, then we would want to do sides being four, and then we would choose a math column and multiply that by five. So I'll show you some different variations here. Uh, for now, I'm going to do 10. Maybe get a maximum of 10 points. Uh, precision 1, no group separator. And then for the roll seed. Now, if you choose something static, like their name or their email address, um, something like this, then this is going to be a random number, sure. But this random number won't change at all because um, it's always looking at there or that static column. So we need to point this value to something random, something unique. And so here's the trick to get a random value for this person, for this row every time, is instead of choosing that static value for the roll seed, choose a unique value here. And if I choose a unique value and then hit done, you see that it changes whenever I um, create a new column or if I were to back out and back into it again, Okay, um, if I were to refresh the screen, you'll see that this becomes a, ran a truly random value. All right, so this is between 1 and 10. Um, and here's where you can kind of play around with figuring out your boundaries, your minimum and your maximum, right? Maybe you only want the values from 5 to 10. So they get a minimum value of 5 and a maximum of 10. Well, with this ro uh, roll dice, you know, you don't get to set the lower boundary. You only get to set the upper boundary. So we would need to create another column in tandem to this. So I could call this a lower boundary. And here's where we'll use a uh, plugin number clamp column. And this will allow you to set the lower and upper bounds of that random value. So for the number, this will be the uh, random points. That's the one coming in. And then for the lower bound, I'll set it to five, precision one. Uh, upper bound, I'll just make it the random points. There we go, okay. So random points and then upper bound, I'll make it the same thing, the random points. And now you see I have my upper bound. So this was a four, but it got raised to a five because five was my lowest value, All right? Uh, again, if I give this a refresh, uh, you'll see that my numbers have changed Right, and you see my threes, anything lower than a five got raised to five. So this is one way to set your boundaries. Uh, you, again, you could also, if I were to delete that lower boundary and change my random numbers from one to four, or actually let's do um, one to five. Okay, I get this random value from one to five, and I can call this a multiplier. So like a times five multiplier. This be a math column where I'll take the number, so I'll random uh, times five. <clears throat> right, so they'll get awarded 20 points rather than four points. So just based upon your gamification system, pick which sort of point value makes sense for you. All right, now we need to be able to award these points to the person and prevent them from doing it multiple times. So the first thing we'll need to do is set a column here and call this last awarded on. 
or last awarded date. Make this a basic column date time. Uh, you might need to make it user specific based upon which sheet this is in, but um, this may or may not be necessary depending upon your situation. I'll make mine user specific just, just for fun. All right, and then hit done. And so we basically are creating a column that's gonna take a look at the last time that these points were awarded and only show the button if uh, they've already, if they haven't claimed it for today. Okay, so back in our app, we're gonna create a button. And we'll call this uh, um, daily, daily reward or claim your daily reward. All right, and the process for this is going to be a new action. And what we want to do is a couple of things. We want to be able to award the points, show notification, maybe play a sound, and then write the date for when it was rewarded to that last rewarded on. So we're gonna do a few things. The first thing here is do a increment number. Um, brand new in Glide is they now allow us to specify which column, um, or we could actually do a, a through a relation. Now, luckily, we're already in the sheet that we need it to be, but if you're working in another sheet where we have these random values happening and you want to award it to the user sheet, uh, you can just create a relation to the user sheet and then you can do this increment number through the relation. But in my case, it's just this item. I'm gonna increase the points by that times five multiplier. Okay, uh, next we're going to set column and we're going to set the last awarded on to the current date and time. There we go. Uh, we'll play a sound and we'll show notification. All right, we'll call this uh, daily reward and then save. Now we didn't create our notification. Let's actually create that now. Um, let's see, you, let's see, notification. This will be a template column. So template, and we'll say you uh, one x points, where x is that times five multiplier. Now, this may work. Um, I have seen in the past in Glide where the random value that gets generated changes when the notification appears. So they get awarded one thing, but it shows that they won something else. So we'll test this out a couple of times to make sure that's working. If it's not, I have a workaround. So let's see, done. Let's go back to our action here on our button and set our notification to be that notification. Save. All right, so I have 54 points. I'm gonna claim my reward, let's see. Five points, but it really awarded me 10. See that? Five points and again, 10. 10 points, but really that was five. <laughs> All right, so, so here's the workaround. What we need to do is write this random value to a temporary column and then use that temporary column for the notification and for the award. So we'll call this uh, temp random points. I'll make this a number column and make it user specific. Done. All right, I'm gonna point my notification to this column instead. Done. And then, as part of the button, before I do my increment number, I'm gonna do my set column values. So I'm gonna bring my set column values to the top. And not only am I gonna set the current date and time, I'm also gonna set the temporary random points to be that times five multiplier. So that random five time multiplier gets set to that user specific column, and then I'm using uh, the increment number to be the temp random points. So everything is writing to that temp random points and I'm pulling from that temp random points. And so uh, now I basically set a variable in my app. And so this should now work. So let's see, I'm at 79. 
89, there's 10 points. That lines up now. 10 points, that lines up. 15, okay, so that's working now, great. All right, now the last thing here is to hide this button if they've already claimed their points. So um, I'm gonna click on this button, do options, visibility, and we're gonna only show this when last awarded on is empty, it means they haven't claimed anything yet, uh, or if the last awarded on is before today. Right. Since I already claimed mine today, I don't see a button anymore. But it looks kind of empty here, right? So I'm going to create another button. And we'll make this a, a transparent button. And we'll say, uh, check back tomorrow. Uh, the action will just be a, a shuffle order, which does nothing, right? That's this button that says check back tomorrow. So let's test this for a different user. I'm gonna to switch to person five. All right, so person five right now is has 20 points. And if I claim my daily reward, then their point value should increase and prevent me from pushing the button again. So they're at 20 points. I won 10 points, I'm now at 20, th oh, sorry, uh, now I'm at 30 points, right. So 30 points and they've increased in the leaderboard, so now they're in second place and I have to check back tomorrow. All right, so let's be person four. Person four has 23 points. I'm gonna claim my reward. 15 points, now they're back in second place with 38 points, and they have to check back tomorrow. So if we wanna test that out, let's pretend it's tomorrow. So let's say the last awarded on was yesterday. Let's change this to 28. Right, and now we see that they can claim their daily reward because the last time that they checked in was yesterday. Claim daily reward. 10 points, now they're at 48 points and still in second place. All right, so here's how you can create a random value award for your gamification app. If you have any questions at all, feel free to leave me a comments below or reach out to me at Twitter at rpetito. And as always, thanks for watching.